okay uh we'll come to today's lecture today's lecture is about micrometer screw gauge in this lesson i'm going to start by defining what a micrometer screw gauge after that i'm going to teach you or show you how to measure the micrometer screw gauge with some examples so pay extra attention so that you can understand clearly so what is a micrometer screw gauge or what is it used for uh, note that the micrometer screw gauge is used to measure smaller length or distance such as the diameter of thin wires the thickness of small sheets such as glass or plastics or the micrometer screw gauge in other ways it can be uh, used to measure the length diameter and thickness of small objects and these small objects we're talking about we're talking about uh, this the thickness of small sheets such as what glass or plastics so it can also be used to measure the thickness of the air so you need to take note of that, you need to master that, you need to know that because you might be asked such type of questions of what a micrometer screw gauge can measure. And it can also measure the diameter of thin what? Wires. Now we need to know uh, how the micrometer screw gauge looks like. So uh, this instrument you're seeing here, this is how the micrometer screw gauge looks like. So it's made up of the flame. So the flame is this one you're seeing here. So this flame you're seeing it's made up of uh, steel and the steel it's made up of is cast what steel and then on your left hand side of the uh, flame we are having the anvil this anvil you are seeing here is fixed and it does not move and it just helps uh, to support and hold the what the measured what object and then on your right hand side of the flame we are having the spindle this spindle you are seeing here is movable it can move forwards and backwards and it does the actual leading. And then um, on your light hand side of the flame, we can see that the sleeve is attached to the light hand side of the frame. So this sleeve we are seeing here, that's where you can find the what? The main scale. So this main scale, uh, it helps lead the length, collect up to one what? Millimeters. So we're going to concentrate much on the main scale and this circular scale we are seeing here. So uh, the circular scale helps to lead length, collect up to 0 0.01 millimeters. So uh, here, we will concentrate much on the circular scale and the main scale. So just pay extra attention. I'm going to show you how this thing is done and how to measure. And then uh, we have the thimble. This thimble you are seeing, it rotates and it moves the spindle. So as this thimble is rotating, it moves the what? The spindle. And then as this spindle is moving, it makes this uh, measured object to be fixed in between the anvil and the, what, the spindle. And then uh, after that, we're having the latchet. This latchet is just used for adjustment. And this latchet, it moves also the what? The spindle. So uh, as you can see, this measured object is in between the anvil and the spindle with the help of the, what, the latchet. Because this latchet is, it can move and it's used for adjustments. As it's moving like that, it makes the spindle to move and hence you find that the measured object uh, will be fixed in between the anvil and the, the spindle. And then uh, for accurate reading of the micrometer screw gauge, you need to ensure that uh, you clean the anvil and the spindle before you can put the measured object in between it. And then you can also zero the what? The readings. If you want to take the uh, measurements of the other objects that you want to measure so just after measuring something if you want to measure another thing just ensure that you zero the what you clear the what the readings so for accurate reading you need to ensure that you zero the readings and then you can also clean the anvil and the what the spindle they like asking such type of questions so you just have to know that and then you need to know how to measure the micrometer screw gauge so now, how to measure the micrometer screw gauge. So what's the first thing that you're supposed to know here? Uh, so the first thing, uh, thimble is turned until the object is gripped between the anvil and the spindle. Very gently. So as I said, uh, the thimble uh, rotates as it's rotates as it's moving. It make as as it's rotating. It makes the, uh, the the spindle to move. So as the spindle is moving, it makes the uh, the object to be measured to be gripped in between the anvil and the what the spindle. And then the second thing, uh, after the measured object has been gripped in between the anvil and the spindle, you need to lead the main scale on the sleeve before the edge of the thimble. 
so i'm going to show you how you can come up with the main score reading so just pay extra attention if you can't understand here this is a time you're going to understand and then the third thing you need to look after obtaining the main scale leading you need to look at the circular scale on the thimble so on the circular scale i'm sure you can remember what the circular scale is so when you look at the circular scale find a marking on the circular scale that is in line with the horizontal line of the main scale so on the circular scale you just have to find for a marking on the circular scale that is in line with the horizontal line of the what main scale and then note that uh, each division on the circular scale represents a length of 0.01 millimeters. So on the circular scale, whatever you're going to be obtaining there, you need to be multiplying with this division of 0.01. Or in other words, this is the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge in millimeters. And then the fourth step, what are you supposed to know? You need to add the main scale reading and the circular scale. What? Reading. After that, then, you have come up with the uh, reading of the word eh? micrometer screw gauge uh, now let's do this example so that you can understand eh? clearly on example one i said thimble is stand until the object is gripped between the anvil and the spindle now that the object has been gripped between the anvil and the spindle we need to proceed to step what eh? two so here it's starting on step two now on step two since the object has been gripped between the anvil and the spindle you need to look at the main scale you need to obtain the main scale reading. So how can you obtain the main scale reading? I said, uh, for you to read the main scale, or to obtain the main scale reading, you need uh, to read the main scale on the sleeve before the edge of the thimble. So you need to obtain the reading of the main scale before this edge of the thimble. So this is the edge of the thimble, this one. Here. So now, uh, how can you obtain this? So you come here to 1. You have, you have seen this one. So this is 1.5 then 2 2.5 this is 3 3.5 this is 4 so this is 4.5 so this is a the the 4.5 you are seeing here so that's the main scale reading in millimeters so uh for main scale reading we are having it to be 4.5 millimeters like that so uh the micrometer screw gauge most is measured in what millimeters and then uh, uh, after that you need to proceed to step three so after that you have obtained the main scale leading you need to obtain uh, the uh, the sleeve leading or the circular what leading so you need to look at the circular scale when you look at the circular scale you need to find a line or a mark that is in horizontal with the main scale here so the circular scale is this so this is circular scale here so uh this circular scale you need just to find a line that is uh horizontal a line or a mark that is horizontal with what main scale so it's this line here so this line is horizontal with what main scale then since it's horizontal with the main scale you need to come to the number down here so we have in 10 so it will be 10 11 12 so it will be 12 now this 12 will multiply it with the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge uh, in millimeters which is 0 0.01 so uh, here we are going to multiply the same 12 we have found times 0 0.01 in millimeters like that so after multiplying that we are going to have something like 0 0.12 millimeters the reason why we are multiplying with this 0 0.01 millimeters this is the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge in what millimeters so for the circular scale of for a thimble at reading you need to be multiplying with 0 0.01 in millimeters so uh for the circular scale so circular scale circular scale reading is equal to we said it's 12, but it's 12 you need to multiply with 0 0.01, which is going to give us 0 0.12 millimeters like that. And then you need to come up with your final reading now. So what's your final reading? You need to add the 2. So when you add 4.5 millimeters plus 0 0.12, like that, millimeters, what are you going to get? You're going to get 4.62 millimeters. Meters. So that's the answer. So that's how you obtain the uh, reading for the micrometer screw gauge. As simple 
as that so let's do some examples so that you can understand clearly so let's do this example so solutions for a so how can you come up with the uh main scale reading for this a you are seeing here so my main scale reading there we said we need to obtain this before the edge of the thimble so here it's five millimeters so main main scale reading is equal to five millimeters like that and then what about the circular scale so the circular scale you can also write if you want thimble same as thimble uh reading same as thimble leading or thimble scale what leading like that uh so for the thimble you need to look for the line which is uh, in line with the what with the with the main scale so the line is this one where it five is so no need of even uh counting from 30 here because it's the same so 30 31 32 33 34 35 so the answer is just 35 now this 35 you can multiply it with 0 0.01 so you're going to multiply uh 35 times 0 0.01 in millimeters so which is the accuracy of the uh, this 0 0.01 millimeters, I said, it's the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge in millimeters. So, which is going to give us 0 0.35 millimeters. Then, we're going to write it here for the thimble reading. Millimeters, like that. Once you're having it, you need to come up with your final reading. So, how do you come up with the final? You need to add the two. So, after adding that you're going to have 5.35 millimeters so that's the leading for the first one i'm sure they are clear and you know where these things are coming from so let's do b so b uh let's do uh let's measure for b so what's the main uh main leading so here i can write main scale reading or just main leading it's okay Main scale reading is equal to so this one uh, we need to obtain before the edge of the what the thimble so this is 13 so it's going to give us 13 millimeters and then what about the thimble reading or the circular reading thimble reading so the thimble reading you come in the circular scale here you look for the line that is horizontal with the main scale so the line is this one which is horizontal with the main scale here so uh you come here now this is you're having zero here so zero is here so zero one two so you're having two so that two you're having you need to multiply it with 0 0.01 in millimeters so after multiplying you're going to have 0 0.02 millimeters like that so you're going to have 0 0.02 millimeters and then you need to come up with your final reading. So when you add these two, what are you going to get? So you're going to get 13.02 millimeters like that. Then you're done. And then let's do C, which is the last one. So for C, how can we come up with the main, uh, main, main scale leading? Main scale leading. So main scale reading here, we need to obtain it before the thimble at the edge of the thimble. So uh, before the edge of the thimble here. So it's uh, we have in 10, 10.5, it's giving us 11, and then 11.5. So it's 11.5, like that. So 11.5, that's the main scale reading. Now let's come up with the thimble reading or the circular scale at reading. So how can you come up with thimble reading now? So uh, thimble reading, you need to look at the circular what? scale. So this circular scale, we need to look for the line where mark that is horizontal with the main what? scale. So the line is this one here. Then we need to consider the number which is down here, which is 35. Oh, sorry, 25. So this is 25. So this is 26. So we have in 26 there. Now 26, we will multiply it with 0 0.01 millimeters. So it's going to give us what? 0 0.26 millimeters after multiplying. So that's our thimble 
reading and then we need to come up with the final reading so when you add these two the main reading and the symbol reading you are going to have something like 11.76 millimeters like that as simple as that then you are done so that's how you uh, obtain the readings for the micrometer screw gauge as simple as that and then this is your task you can do it at your own time and then when you're having challenges don't hesitate to contact me and uh, lastly don't forget to subscribe like share and what comment and thank you for watching